Uh, good morning, it's Saturday the 12th of October 2019 and Mike and I are in Glencova. Weather was better in the east so we've headed up the Angus Glen and we're going to have a walk up uh, Jocks Road and pick off a few Monroes at the top there. So we'll see how the day goes. And this is heading up to the plateau. Good path all the way up. Certainly a nice morning at the minute, so that's us almost at the plateau. Sun's getting us up now. We're gonna head for Tom Bui and Tom Want, which is uh, two minutes to the left of the path as you come up here, so that's gonna be the first targets for this morning. Stand up. It's mm -hmm. a bigger sleeping platform than I thought it was. I thought it was a lot narrower than that uh, last day. But it must have been whenever we got in. So we yeah. certainly spend quite a good night here. Oh, it's a bit drafty, but I mean, you, mm -hmm. you, you have all your gear. Gonna leave the path here. This is heading up the bamboo is the first one. We'll go up this way. It's just over here. This is the second one, Tom out. The path goes off to the right and takes a wee bit of height, so we don't want to take the height again, we're just gonna go straight up. That's just the final horizon on Tom Boot. Well, this is just out off the summit of Tolman, we're just getting a bit of shelter. And you can see here that's Jocks Road, and then this is Dumbui, and all we do is just continue to the right, drop down, and then back up to Tolman. 25 minutes between the two summits, so it must be one of the closest in terms of two main roads together. There's just virtually nothing in it. So we're going to just head off towards Loch Nagar, but it's a couple of Monroes this side of Loch Nagar, Carnbanach, which is just about here, and then there's a couple of tops that will come in, and then we'll end up on Broadcairn, which is a wee pointy one at the, on the right hand side, and that let us drop off 
that one into Glen Clover and just close the loop and uh, back to the car. It's just a high plateau when you're up here, you know, it's very deceiving. I mean, this bump just in front of us, just here, that's about nine, it's over Monroe height and it's just a bump on a ridge. This is Paferni and Carnan Sagat Moor, another man rolls right at the back of Mike on the straight back from the cairn, you see the path went up to it and to the right of that are kind of sack of peg and then you pick up the Munro's at Loch Nagar, they're looking onto the, the back end of Loch Nagar this is the next Munro, just, just here, Garden Banner and then we start heading in, we just head in to the point you want it's broad cairn bit breezy but nice, very nice That's looking back to Tollmount, just come from there. Looks quite small in these, this plateau. And then that's looking towards the Glen Shee Hills, just at the low point there. You can see the cairn well sticking through the mass there. That's just the final shoulder on the broad cairn. Again, that's looking down Loch Mick. You see the pass going out. We follow that out and then we cut down to the right into the glen and then curve back around to Glen Clover.
Well, that's us dropped into the glen and on the track now. Just a matter of following that route around. It's a good track all the way out. All the way out. And the track actually just hugs this hill on the right hand side. Just got to go right around it and it brings you right out of the car park. So, steady plod back. Well, this is back to the car. 22 kilometres, six and a half hours. The path went on a wee bit when we're coming out there, but no bother. Good day. Things a lot busier here now than when we left. But super day. Very popular area. Thanks for watching.